What is happening guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. We are in Georgia, Atlanta, Georgia. Today we are filming this E30 wagon, but this is not your ordinary E30 wagon. It has a 1JZ in it. When I heard that this thing existed here so close to Charlotte, North Carolina, I figured might as well make a trip down and check it out. So this feature film would be a little bit different than most of them because usually we just have F80s, F30, BMW builds. I felt like this one would be cool because it's so different compared to what you usually see. Huge shout out to Walker here at Dynamic Motorsports for having us over, showing us his cars. It's got a really cool shop if you guys need maintenance, performance done, check them out, Dynamic Motorsports in Georgia. When they told me that they had an E30 wagon with a 1JZ in it, I was like, I gotta film this thing. Like, <laughs> that's just it. It's making about 500 horsepower to the wheels, and that is on very conservative tune and boost, so there's a lot more room to play with in this car, but <laughs> what a wild build. We're actually on our way to Caffeine and Octane tomorrow morning in Atlanta, Georgia. I figured I might as well get a feature film in while we're down here. Anyways, let's get Walker over here, talk a little bit about the car, and go for a ride. <laughs> I don't know what to say, man. It's Frankenstein. It's gonna be wild. All right, you guys, so we got Walker here from Dynamic Motorsports. Dynamic Motorsports, right? Correct. Walker, um, first of all, Frankenstein. 100%, yeah. Such a, such a cool car, <laughs> like so unique and so different. Tell me, I guess, just what you've got going on with this E30 wagon, the year, um, then we can talk a little bit about the cool. about the engine inside of it. Um, it's a 1991 E30 wagon. Uh, it was imported from Munich, Germany. Uh, was a one owner car over there. I would be the second owner. You know, you have to get them from out of states. and never made them in states. A mm -hmm. um, little bit of a pain, but it's definitely worth it. Makes it, you know, a little bit more unique. You know, and I've always wanted a wagon. Always, always wanted a wagon. Yeah. No one expects the wagons to be fast. So, <laughs> well, this one is is fast. And, and why is it fast? <laughs> it's pretty quick. Um, it has a 1JZ non-VVT inside of it. So cool. um, NAD Auto, they helped me import the motor. Yeah. Uh, it's running a Link ECU with full custom harness. Mm -hmm. um, all of that was done by Victory Motorsports. They did the injectors, uh, all the fab work. Absolutely great guys. I, I couldn't have really completed the car without them. Car is running the Link ECU, like I said, it's on boost by gear, all that other good stuff. Borg Warner EFR, Freed Engineering engine mounts. It's running E36 M3 mm -hmm. front end brakes. Uh, full five lug swap. The rear end is using a Z3M clown shoe rear end. Full subframe, fully adjustable. So how, how difficult was the swap for you and, and uh, the guys at Victory? Uh, it, it wasn't easy, mm -hmm. uh, that's for sure. There's a, some fitment issues. As you can see, it's, it's really, really close. Yeah. Um, and at the same time, you know, with not having a lot of room, I want it to be really clean. So um, that's why you can see the guys at Victory did an awesome job on the tucked harness right here. Yeah, it looks really um, good. Put everything back underneath the intake manifold. Mm -hmm. uh, I had this custom made for the car. This is the oil cooler and catch can built back into where the heater core used to go. Okay. Yes, everybody, it has no heat, no AC. It is. <laughs> it's very raw. It is not. A, I mean, a, I drove <laughs> it from there to here, and I was like, oh, okay, this is a lot different. A lot different. A lot different. <laughs> so. But it's. I mean, it's got so much character. That's what we want. It's a really, really cool car. Like I said, I've done a lot of these swaps, M50s, M52s, S50s, all that stuff. Yeah. I just wanted something unique where you pop the hood, and you're not expecting yeah. any kind of thing. Um, right now, it's about 22 PSI. Okay, cool. Right about 22. And you said it's somewhere in the neighborhood of 500 horsepower? Over 500, yes, sir. Over 500. Well, um, why, don't we, why don't we go for a ride? Let's do it. Yeah. Where in Georgia are we exactly? We are in Swanee, Georgia. Swanee, Georgia. Right That's on the we're... outskirts of Atlanta. Part. Dynamic motorsports. Got some pretty cool stuff going on. You guys do uh, a lot of performance and repair or what? Pretty much everything. Um, yeah. You know, our, our, our slogan is we make cars fun. So this is a great billboard for a fun shop. Something like that, that you know? Yeah, for yeah, sure. this is cool, man. <laughs> oh, you can't just, you just want to laugh. <laughs> Dude, this thing is sick. Are you kidding me? Bro, this car is fucking wicked. It's fun. It's fun. It's you know? it's got so much enthusiasm. But, you know, the thing is, like I said, I wanted to be really fun when you put your foot down, but you can also still drive it and it's not too, too crazy, you know? Um, I've never experienced anything like that. It won't scare you all the time, but when you want it to, it'll do it. No, for sure. Like, it has the capabilities to, to fucking make you shit your pants whenever it wants to. 
But it's got so much character, man. Like, it's just so different. It's that E30 uh, nostalgia. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you just gotta run out of road, you know? <laughs> you just wanna laugh? It's like so ridiculous. <laughs> the smiles per gallon, I think. Absolutely, 100% you know? smiles per gallon. <laughs> you did a great job. <laughs> so you said the front bakes. The front brakes are E36 M3? Correct. Okay. E36 M3. So is that like the spindle front, the whole... Oh, so everything. Control arm, all that stuff, all from the E36. Oh, okay. Okay. Cool. Wow. Dude. <laughs> There's a few different ways to make them five lug. Um, this yeah. is the best way. And like I said, I um, I made the rear end adjustable. Mm -hmm. They're not really adjustable. So I took um, the tabs and eccentrics from an E90. Okay. Welded them into the subframe. So now you actually have camber and uh, toe adjustment on the Wow. If anyone has an E30, they know how annoying that is. <laughs> this thing is so badass. <laughs> you just love driving this thing. Like, it's just so After different. a long day, it really helps you unwind. But yeah. I tell you, there was a period where I had sold a bunch of my cars and, yeah you know I was down to just this one and man you know getting in this car at six o'clock in the morning go to work it will definitely wake you up you know you oh can't yeah really, for can't sure really bring your coffee with you yeah you know, this, this is a different kind of experience for sure <laughs> That's why I did all that five lug stuff, it really helps, you know. Is it lowered at all? Bilstein lowering springs? Yeah. Um, no, it's not on coilovers, everybody. Uh, I'm still like a comfort guy. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. kind of old No, it's heart. like not I, harsh, you know what I mean? And like that's what I want, you know, I want to be able to enjoy the car and not, you know, shake my teeth out of my head when I go Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I hear you. So it's on, like I said, all the Z, Z3 stuff in the back, E36 M3 stuff, and it's Bilstein B8 struts, and then uh, H&R Sport for race rings. It's a really, it's actually a really comfortable ride. That's for, what I said. For like know. how old the car is, you know, and with the with the motor and the power and everything, it's actually not a bad ride at I all. I when you're just cruising, you can still yeah, cruise. Yeah, totally chill. I still take my girl out to dinner in it. Yeah, you know? yeah. Uh, I still get on it, you know, sometimes. She doesn't like it too much, but other than that, you can kind of cruise in. Dude, this car, thank you again for uh, making time today, Not man. A this, problem, man. This is a dope little experience. And if you see my little sign that pops up, it says send it pussy on the dash. Dude, that's so funny. <laughs> Well, this thing's this thing's fucking dope. <laughs> this thing's so wicked. Are you bringing this to the show tomorrow? Yes, I think um, I'll be going with the guys from Victory. They have a big Mark III, Mark IV super following. Oh, okay, cool. Um, yeah, even though it's an E30, I'll be parking with probably the M3s and M4 Supra. So. It's funny. You're like the opposite of me, like <laughs> with the Supra, because I have the B50. I, like, right, I was thinking you know about it. it I'm it really like, dude, is. this is actually kind of like the opposite of what my car is. It really is, honestly. <laughs> All right. Um, Walker, dude, thank you so much again Absolutely, for taking brother. the time to show me this Thanks car. Thanks for coming it's out. Y'all watch his stuff. He makes good stuff. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Please do subscribe, comment down below, like this video, hit that bell notification. Just like that, this video is over. We're out.